Lesson 3 Inflation Question 2 Answer in one or two sentences. First, define the term inflation. Answer, Professor Crowther has defined inflation as a state in which the value of money is falling. That is, prices are rising. Inflation means too much currency in relation to the physical volume of business being done. Second, how does inflation affect moral values? Answer, due to inflation, some businessmen resort to adulteration, hoarding, quality deterioration, etc. Thus, inflation adversely affects moral values. Third, explain the meaning of bank rate. Answer, the bank rate refers to the rate of interest at which a central bank lends money to commercial banks. Fourth, what is meant by cash reserve ratio? Answer, cash reserve ratio or CRR refers to the proportion of total deposits which commercial banks have to keep with the central bank. A rising CRR results in lesser availability of credits through banks. Fifth, write any two direct measures to control inflation. Answer. The direct measures to control inflation include first, expansion of domestic output so as to meet the ever increasing demand. Second, adopting appropriate wage profit policies. Question 3. Write answers to the following questions in 5 to 6 sentences. First, write any four factors responsible for the increase in demand for goods and services? Answer. The demand for goods and services increases due to the following factors. First, increase in public and private expenditure due to war, developmental policies, etc. Public expenditure increases. This leads to an increase in demand for goods and services in the economy. An increase in private expenditure leads to a rise in demand for goods and services. Secondly, reduction in taxation. When taxes are reduced, there is an increase in the purchasing power of consumers. So, the demand increases. Thirdly, rapid growth of population. A rapidly growing population increases the level of demand for goods and services in a country. Fourthly, the availability of credit. Due to an easy availability of credit, consumers' spending rises. This increases the demand for goods and services. Second, what are the causes of decrease in the supply of goods and services? Answer. The decrease in the supply of goods and services takes place due to the following factors. First, shortage of factors of production. Shortage of factors like land, labor, capital, raw materials, etc. reduce the production of goods and services. This decreases the level of supply. Second, industrial disputes. Industrial disputes result in strikes which may lead to lockouts. In such cases, industrial production falls and reduces its supply. Thirdly, natural calamities like flood, drought, etc. Natural calamities adversely affect the supply of farm products and raw materials. Fourthly, lopsided production. More production of comforts and luxury goods reduces the supply of essential goods in the market. Fifth, hoarding of goods. Hoarding is done by suppliers 
to earn more profit. This reduces the supply of goods at a particular point of time. This leads to inflation. Third, explain the effects of inflation on distribution. Answer. Inflation leads to unequal distribution of wealth and income in the society. So, rich become richer and poor become poorer. Entrepreneurs earn more profit. This is because prices rise faster than the cost of production. Fixed income earners like pensioners, workers, salaried persons, etc. are adversely affected by inflation.